Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. We are here with the eclipse video of 14th of October 2023. If you can see this, there's an eclipse. Uh, you know what, what are eclipses? Eclipses are basically either new moon or a full moon uh, which is in proximity to Rahu or Ketu. Okay, so now you can see this um, on 14th october sun and moon will be in 27 degrees of virgo and ketu is in around zero degree libra now although ketu is in the next sign uh, but since it is in very close degrees <coughs> uh, so yeah the eclipse is there okay so now what is this eclipse uh, this is an eclipse which is uh, actually involving k2 and there's in this is like a new moon eclipse so what is this uh, eclipse with uh, k2's k2's involvement okay this is very interesting because rahu and k2 have the power to uh, they are the only ones who have the power to eclipse the sun and moon now this eclipse is occurring in the sign of Virgo uh, but Ketu is in the sign of Libra but as I said even then the eclipse is there and the conjunction is quite tight if you see almost three to four degrees so this will be a prominent eclipse okay and because Ketu is involved with this uh, there will be uh, something which will start uh, in regards to where Virgo falls in your chart so where is Virgo in your horoscope you know depending on your ascendant wherever Virgo is there will be uh, new beginnings uh, related to that house now of course uh, there will be new beginnings because there is a new moon uh, that is but natural <laughs> but in this case it is just just not the new moon it is a uh, new moon in proximity to uh, actually K2 okay so this is a very uh, important energy because whenever there is an eclipse in proximity with Ketu, uh, there is always some degree of detachment that is required. But in this case, uh, that is even higher. Why do I say this? Because you see, where is where are... Uh, the luminaries you know where is sun where is moon it is they are in the sign of virgo now what is virgo virgo is the natural sixth house of the zodiac right of the kalpurush kundli now what is sixth house sixth house represents day-to-day uh, -day things that we do uh, sixth house represents our you could say it represents the job and uh, yeah a lot a lot of other things which we can't avoid doing okay and because of all these things uh, the sixth house is prominently known for control okay so when you are when you are working under somebody uh, what is happening basically you you are controlled by somebody okay controlled in the sense you know they have the right to uh, keep you in the job or terminate your job okay uh, depending on the market or your performance or just their desire okay <clears throat> so now what is going on ketu is ketu is although he is in the sign of libra uh, but because sun and moon are in Virgo, so the Virgo energy is more prominent. So, so this is indicating there is some uh, there is some layoff that we have to do. Not that you will be laid off. <laughs> there is some layoff which we have to do ourselves. Okay. So, what is that uh, you have to lay off? Well, uh, that that depends on your chart which mahadasha you are running which antardasha you are running which which house virgo falls in your chart okay so uh, but nonetheless uh, depending on your ascendant uh, you need to see where virgo is not from your moon sign okay uh, this this is transit from only your ascendant okay so don't see from your moon see from your ascendant always 
so this this video cannot exactly tell you what is going on in your chart uh, but let me try to give you some hints okay so for example now this is a bit advanced uh, advanced astrology not very advanced but yeah for a beginner it may be a bit difficult to understand and if you feel what i am going to say now is going through the roof uh, then maybe you can watch some of my astrology basics videos okay that will give you more un better understanding so so before i go into the technicalities um, one thing that is sure is that you know you you will have to let go of something but what that is you know let's try to understand so let us take this chart itself you know this is a german time like a 9 52 pm chart on 14th of october so you have seen uh, here sun is at 27 0 moon is 27 56 so the eclipse has already occurred okay by this time on 14 november october so now if you just see this is like uh, at that point in germany uh, it will be gemini ascendant okay so so if oops yeah so for gemini where is this uh, eclipse occurring it is occurring in the fourth house because one two three four okay virgo is house number four so that means something to do with education land property real estate vehicles the mother you know, something to do with the chest <coughs> something related to this is occurring now what 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 could be occurring so now uh, let us make a simplistic assumption you know l let's just assume that this chart that you are seeing is somebody's uh, original birth chart okay uh, let's assume so this is the transit chart for 14 October, but let's also assume <coughs> that uh, this is the tra uh, original birth chart or let's make things a bit different. You see this Navamsha chart. Mm, this is uh, the Navamsha chart for that time on 14, but, but for simplicity, let us uh, you know assume that uh, this is the birth chart okay not the transit chart let's assume this is something uh, you know there's some random sagittarius ascendant okay with saturn and mars in the first house okay let's assume let's assume for the time being <coughs> rahu is in the fifth house jupiter sun moon are in the tenth house okay <coughs> ketu uh, is in the eleventh then mercury venus are in the eighth house okay so now uh, imagine that <coughs> this person sagittarius rising is undergoing let's say for example uh, venus mahadasha okay venus mahadasha is going on so where is venus venus is himself in the eighth house uh, but he's lording the 11th house and he's also lording the 6th house okay so 6th lord 11th lord something definitely something to do with the profession so now he's in the 8th house so that means something sudden it is occurring it, it is showing some sudden occurrences okay now for him where is the eclipse occurring the eclipse is occurring in the 10th house because virgo is in the 10th house right so now he is running venus mahadasha uh, and uh, he is also getting an eclipse in the 10th house and venus lords the 6th house and the 11th house and situ situated in the 8th house so this means that depending on which antar dasha he is running it is possible that there could be some new beginnings in his profession but it will not just be some new beginnings it will be like you know maybe he is uh, changing the domain altogether or maybe the person is changing a company or maybe the change person is changing some profile altogether so it is not just some random new job if it was rahu then it would be like that okay 
<coughs> but because it is Ketu, so he is leaving something. Okay, so maybe from finance he is jumping to uh, computer science or vice versa. Or it could also happen that the person is pausing uh, his or her profession for some time to do something else in life. <coughs> So, for example, um, here Venus is in the eighth house. Okay, so it it is possible that because the eclipse is in the tenth, so the person is putting a pause in his profession and he is going on to do some research. Okay, it is possible to some extent. So, but but again, these are just possibilities, you know. So there is there is a pause and then there is something else which is starting okay or there is like a significant change in a domain okay so this is not just some external change okay i was in this company now i'm in this company no ketu always makes things very internal rahu makes things external okay so if it was rahu it would be an external change now this also can show external change it will with ketu but it is you are feeling that change more internally okay okay so now now let us go to the transit chart and let's assume you know you oops is this gone yeah so 14 october okay let's see so now let's say you are a Gemini rising okay and as I said this is the transit chart so assume that this is also a birth chart okay some random person <coughs> now this eclipse is occurring in the fourth house so as I said you know something to do with property uh, is happening and now if imagine this person is running Jupiter Mahadasha okay now Jupiter is the Lord of the 7th house and the 10th house and where is Jupiter placed? Jupiter is in the 11th house so good for profession excellent but the eclipse is in the 4th house Mahadasha is indicating 10th house what, what does it mean? it means that the person may jump into some real estate business okay not just buying a private personal home uh, this could be like the person might get into business why do i say business real estate business because not because the eclipse is occurring here just because the other reason is the natural karaka for property mars is aspecting jupiter okay mars and saturn are natural significators and saturn is also aspecting jupiter from the ninth house <coughs> so when two karakas for property are aspecting the mahadasha lord and then the eclipse is also occurring in the fourth house then the person may uh, or the person may buy some vehicle so for example if he is running jupiter mahadasha and venus antardasha venus will show vehicles connected to the fourth house <coughs> so then the person might you know buy some vehicles and put it as a taxi and uh, do collaborations with other taxis or autos or uber or ola or something like that because the seventh house is involved because jupiter is the seventh lord so other people other organizations other companies are involved and tenth lord shows you know something to do in the profession so this could happen or if venus is not involved then it could be property okay but this will not be very standard which means you know this will not be like okay the person was doing something and now he's doing some property business in the side no this will be very radically different the person will internally feel that i should do things related to property okay more so because two karakas for property mars saturn are expecting and within that the antardasha will decide so if he is running rahu antardasha you know, then this will be more profound you know if he is running mars saturn the antardasha then also this will be more profound okay yeah so that is how you will uh, be able to uh, understand what is going on so don't don't just see you know the eclipse so because uh, fourth house can show so many things but 
is it property or is it the mother is it your chest or what is it so for that you have to analyze your original birth chart okay otherwise uh, you will make serious blunders okay and please do not do that okay so thank you very much for your patience if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation please visit my website also in the description section and god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him and if you liked this video hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know what will happen on 14th october okay thank you